Welcome back to Good Day Stateline. July is cell phone courtesy awareness month, so we had to have our friend Derek Bourne from Cellular Sales uh, back on the show this morning. Good morning, Derek. Good morning. Thank you for having me. Yeah, so your store just opened. Yep. So if anyone hasn't uh, been watching or hasn't been videoing, tell us, or viewing or visiting, tell us yes. where they can find you. Uh, we're on Perryville, um, right in front of the mire, and uh, Right now, it sticks out like a store thumb because it's <laughs> brand new construction. We're the first ones there, luckily, so it was nice. Every time I drive by, the store's packed. Yes, it Absolutely. is. Absolutely, and is. you are hiring, so if anyone is looking for a job, you know a lot of people right now are looking for a new job. They can yep. contact you if they're interested. Yes, they can. Um, just swing by the store. Uh, we actually have a few little banners up. You can go see our website, CellularSales.com. Any multiple ways to reach us. Uh, we'd love to have new people around and folks here in in Rockford, give them opportunities. Absolutely. So of course, we know you sell cell phones and chargers and accessories and all that fun stuff, but you're also a fun person. So we wanted to At do times, something yeah. fun uh, to, I guess, celebrate, is that the right word? Celebrate, honor yeah. um, National Cell Phone Courtesy Awareness Month. We are both in this video, but we haven't seen it yet. Yes. We and made a PSA. Yes, it was, it was very serious. Sure. And we wanted to make sure <laughs> that everyone knew how to be proper yes. with their cell phones. Right, and a lot of the, the a lot of the issues actually are serious, but of course like I am the person in it, so <laughs> let's let's take they a are. look at it. Hello. My name is Derek Bourne. I'm here with Cellular Sales, Verizon Stores, located in Belvedere, Woodstock, in our brand new location in Rockford on Perryville. While we dedicate our lives to the sale of cell phones and cell phone accessories, there's another cause that is near and dear to our hearts. July is National Cell Phone Courtesy Awareness Month, and we want to take this time to shed some light on the importance of this oddly specific holiday. We live in a world where it's considered normal texting someone in the same room. Phones are an important and integrated part of our lives, but if not used correctly, they can get in the way. We have brought some experts in to cover some statistics and common offenses we should all avoid. It is not commonly known that over 50% of young adults who own a cell phone pretend to be using their phone to avoid social interaction. The lack of cell phone courtesy has ravaged citizens across the nation and has become truly unbearable. In fact, 60% of Americans don't follow the national cell phone guidelines and regu regulations. That's why we've compiled a list of some of the most important guidelines you should follow. Number one, texting and driving. Never, and we mean never, text and drive. It's not safe. You could hurt someone or even yourself. You should know this by now, really. Number two, when in a store or public place at the checkout line, stay off your phone. You may be holding up the line or interfering with the checkout process. Plus, it's just rude. Number three, when in a public place, please don't use your speakerphone. We don't need to hear what you're saying to your cousin. Number four, try to refrain from texting and walking out in public. This is actually illegal in some cities. You could walk right into traffic or into someone else. Number five, please limit taking annoying pictures of your food at restaurants. This is more of a personal thing for us, but it's still annoying. Number six, Speak softly when taking calls in public. If the other person can't hear you or if you have a bad connection, try hanging up and calling them later. Number seven, this shouldn't be difficult in the age of social distancing, but make sure you're at least 10 feet away from the building if you are taking a call outside. Windows are thin and we can still hear you. Number eight, don't have your cell phone on the table during a meeting or dinner date. It makes it seem like you're not present, which sends the wrong message. Number nine, trolling. 
This is a more recent term to describe someone who browses social media platforms to make negative comments about other people online. If you wouldn't say it in person, you shouldn't say it on your phone. If you are the kind of person that says rude things in person, maybe you should consider canceling. Number 10, cell phone addiction is a real thing. If you feel anxiety from being without your cell phone, try getting another hobby or a significant other to pass the time. Your cell phone will always be there when you need it. We love seeing people use their phones, but sometimes it's okay to put it down and interact with people. So please remember these guidelines this month and every month. I haven't touched my phone in five whole minutes. Are you I proud know. of me? <laughs> that was so much that fun. Was uh, that was so much those fun. Those guys work with you. Yes, yes. There are our store leaders over there at the Perryville location, Casey and Logan, and they are awesome, awesome <laughs> guys. And they were nice enough to take their time to come out and make sure everybody was safe. Yes, yes, of course. Aside from the texting and driving, which of course is a real thing that we all need to be, you know, current. Yep. Uh, aware of at all it times. The rest serious, yes. are guidelines that I don't, I, you know, sometimes you got to be loud. It happens. Yes, absolutely. <laughs> but we had a lot of fun doing that with you, so thank you, Derek. Uh, let everybody know again, because you have three locations, not just here in Rockford. That's correct, yes. So we have Woodstock, uh, Rockford, and we also have Belvedere by the Walmart okay. there. All right, and if anyone wanted to find you in any of those locations or get more info on all of the great things you guys offer, where yes. can we go? Uh, CellularSales.com and just look for uh, the drop down that has the Illinois market. Perfect. Well, thank you so much for all of that, Derek. Absolutely. Coming, thank coming you up very next. much for having us. We're checking in with Romana from the Field of Dreams movie site and later testing out the curbside pickup process at Dairy Depot. We'll be right back after a quick look at the weather.